you're here also because we look there's some news that broke over the weekend. Riley, you're in the booth, yes? Yes. All right, so tell us about what happened with uh, with Obi Wan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, StarWars.com has confirmed that Deborah Chow has landed the job to direct the show, which is, will be somewhere around six to eight episodes long. And uh, Chow uh, directed uh, episodes of Jessica Jones, Mr. Robot, American Gods, Lost in Space, and Better Call Saul. Well, and Mandalorian. And Mandalorian. That's correct. how she got the gig. Yeah, yes. So, is that the old Lost in Space in the 60s? No, that was the Netflix new one. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Did you know that? It was actually a Netflix one. Yeah. Um, and uh, Panama is in one of the episodes. And also Matthew... P nope, Matt LeBlanc was in the movie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Yeah. Deborah Chow. <laughs> yep. Uh, Fresh uh -huh. off his performance yeah. in Ed, Ed. The <laughs> monkey that plays shortstop. Yep. Or Joey. Yeah. Deborah, Deborah um, Chow, from what everything I'm hearing, she just has impressed a hell out of people on uh, on Mandalorian mm -hmm. what she's done for the Star Wars universe so it makes a lot of sense the question is does she get the entire series if you go straight up who uh, Fukunawa did um, the first season True of Detective. True Detective right that season benefited from having one director from start to finish they've been treating these things like movies anyway right so the question is does it benefit to have her for all the entire for the entire season or do you think she's going to get a couple of episodes well, i think generally the way it goes in television is it is multiple directors that each have like like that's how it was with breaking bad right uh, yeah. for example but well, you're Game right of thrones yeah somebody right, right, like carrie right. fukunaga comes in and does the entire season of true detective I don't care either way. I think this is a great move for, for Disney to hire Deborah Chow, who clearly has the resume that is steeped in being able to tell stories in a number of different genres in the world of TV and streaming. So if she, you know, and but that's what The Mandalorian is doing, is having a bunch of different directors right. come in and do it. So I don't really care either way. Um, I just, I, I'm so excited to watch the Obi-Wan show. But I am a little hesitant just because I, I don't want to see Obi-Wan do too much. I don't think he did that much. Uh, I, I think back in, in when when we saw the original trilogy, Obi-Wan was doing jack shit that was that just, for that was, 20 years. That was 20 years. He this was is, doing takes, jack shit. This takes place and eight, then, years, eight years after, after Sith. And eight then years. all these other, for 20, th that would be dead in the middle of him doing jack shit. Nah. He was sitting that's around dull. at his local coffee bean doing the crossword, he and that's been. all he Same. was doing. What is the name of the guy who did Mr. Robot season one Sam and, then, and then did yeah. not come back for season... No, Sam Asimov has been doing them all no, since day one. No, the most recent season he did <laughs> he not. He didn't do it. Okay. He did well, not. And, and it was a That's very apparent... Yeah. No, no, he did a great job with The new one. guy was better. So... What I'm trying, no, I'm saying that he did a great job when he was directing every episode. When we started uh, deviating from that, I think if you have a one character show or there's a one center character, it's not a uh, ensemble piece. It can work a lot better right. if you have the same director. Well, be right. So this is this is what this is what was announced. This is from Collider.com, by the way. So Disney officially announced the Obi-Wan series at this year's D23, where McGregor revealed reveal the filming is expecting to begin in 2020. The show will be set eight years after Revenge of the Sith and 11 years before A New Hope, which places the story somewhere right in the middle of Solo, a Star Wars story. Confused? We have a run down the entire star timeline. Now, the that's why some people that's think right that That's right in that well, wheelhouse of Mark's saying, I don't want my Obi-Wan doing things. I just, I, I like the old wizard that, that did literally nothing for 20 years and he was called back into duty one last time. I, I can get over the fact that if, if he's got a solid decade of doing nothing, but we know that that's not even true because I really didn't like that Rebels, like six months before he runs into Luke Skywalker and goes to save the princess, he fought Darth Maul and he like defeated Darth Maul, right? It was what, like four what, years before that. that. It's like, dude, come on, man. You're, you're not this wizard stumbling around and just confused as to what the hell's happening if you just fought Darth Maul but, four but years ago. Not, but he was never stumbling around wondering what's happening. He's always He was always locked in. Even Rogue yeah, One even. He's, uh, he's getting too old for this sort of thing. He's, you know, it just, yeah. it, it seemed like a guy who had not uh, had his, uh, he, he hadn't been in the gym in a while. And I like that. Yeah, I well, like I, that Obi-Wan. might still get that. But I, 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 I think that uh, the big question here Roxy, Josh, I want your take on it first, okay, and then we'll get to. I'm just looking at. So he did. Sam Rasmal directed all of Mr. Robin. No, I, I really don't think so. I think okay. he stopped. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Uh, do y'all want to see uh, the guy who? What's his name? The guy with the cape, Darth Vader. Do you want to see him in the Obi Wan series? One hundred percent. You have to. I asked Josh 100%. and Roxy first. One hundred percent. You enjoy your shirt. All right, thank you. Play, yes. play with your ball. Yeah, one hundred percent. 
Well, I, I saw him for eight seconds in Rogue One. It was the best eight seconds of the friggin' movie. Show me Darth friggin' Vader. Show me like a young Vader, a little spry on his fake legs and his fake arms and his all bloodied up things. Show me like Vader, like a little stronger Vader. Show me Vader doing some fucked up shit and Obi-Wan being like, gotta figure it out. And then Obi-Wan gets the shit kicked out of him because clearly it sent him back to his hermit cave where he just grew a beard and hung around on a little flat speeder. Okay, Roxy? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, because it makes sense character-wise and, and time period-wise, so uh, why wouldn't you use him? I think people's main complaint uh, with him being in Rogue One was it was kind of shoehorned in, but I didn't feel that way. Oh, no, I, I love seeing him in Rogue yeah. One, but I, I just, I love, again, I go back to A New Hope, and he says, you know, when I left you, I was the learner, now I am the master. Which you can have that in the yeah. Obi Wan series because Obi Wan can beat Darth Vader again. Right? Oh, you say it, like but um, it's the I, Jedi line. I, Obi Wan. It's, it's Return of the Jedi line is the one that makes me say that's why I think it's going to happen, and that the line is Obi Wan once thought as you did, because from where we are right now in Revenge of the Sith, he just left him. He thought he was dead for a second. Then yeah, I know Yoda. Yoda you know they. It looks like he's alive. He may think he's alive, but he, they don't know. Uh, he watched his friend burn. He watched his friend burn up. He so when thought, Luke is trying to convert Vader yeah, back said, to the good he side. He said, Obi-Wan once thought as you did. When, when did he think that? He was going to Mustafar to kill him. Yeah. So he never thought that. So, Mustafa. Yeah. So <laughs> we said, we, we said, we said yeah. that last week. I said that last week. Mustafa. <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> when, Planet uh, Mufasa. When he says uh, that, that line about he's more machine now than man, yeah. twisted and evil. That gives me a little bit of, okay, he might have bumped into Darth Vader again. that could again. have been episode four like, also, you, though. You don't want to see Vader. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I, I feel like Vader's a little bit of a crutch, and I think that there's been so many uh, di- various li- like video games, more so comic books and novels, that are taking place in a very condensed period of time that it's kind of like you're taking the canon and you're really – you're giving these heroes a lot of adventures to, to do in a very short period of time, and I just feel like – we don't need to. I don't want to like rely on Darth Vader as a crutch, you know? No, yeah, because Vader is I off agree. doing a bunch of stuff, and it's like the guy's only got so many calories he can burn in a given day, <laughs> and we're giving him a lot right. of adventures. He's got to go take his helmet off and have his little cryo bath every day. Like, how much did the guy possibly do in a this? Cru- a crutch is something you don't want to have, him. but if it if it helps tell the story, that you can't be afraid that it's going to be a crutch if if it helps. Again, and, I'm a, I'm a huge Star Wars yeah. fan, so anything you put in front of me, even if it's something where I'm like. Nah, did that really happen on the timeline? <laughs> well, you're still going to eat it up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go yeah. nuts. I don't know if this is the show that's going to make me pay for the Disney service. I may just go over to a friend's house. So it's not, it's not Mandalorian? Still? No, I might go over to a friend's house. That's fine. To go me. watch Mandalorian. Don't, don't you think do if you're going to use Vader as a crutch, wouldn't you pick a different show because Obi-Wan already has name recognition? I mean, it's not really yeah, a crutch at that point. Good yeah. Point. Mm, well, okay, look. In, in Rogue One, which I thought had a, had a really good marketing campaign. Rogue One needed him. Towards the end of Rogue One, when you started seeing Rogue One ads on TV, like, hey, there's a Star Wars movie coming out. They loved having Vader. Yeah, but it made sense. Those but it made, it made sense to the and story. It, and it right. made sense. Right. But I, I think that, I, yeah, I do think Obi-Wan is enough. But that's the other reason why I'm like, can we, can he, can he do something different than just fight the same guy that we've seen? Well, can we, well, like, people, like, what, like, what else can I, my ideal show is actually Obi-Wan not fighting anybody. My ideal show is Obi-Wan j- literally doing that. Like, I want, I want <laughs> Obi-Wan being like Fraser Crane at Cheers, just solving people's little psychological problems, Possible. watching Sam and Diane get together and break up. That's the show well, I want. Well, we know though from Rogue One that Jimmy Smith has been in contact with him and knows that he's, that he's on Tatooine and, and doing his thing. So. The guy from Bluff City Law. Yeah. Ooh, I, think Jimmy, new show. I think Jimmy Smith does show up in the show for sure. But the other the other thing that a lot of people I do think, like that Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith is coming in. That people do think Darth Maul is going to show up. I think that it completely negates what they did set up in Rebels if they do that. I'm um, fine with that. A lot of people are, but some people. But people. <laughs> I get to see Obi Wan fight Darth Maul in live action. Yeah. You'd I'm see fine that. with that retconning what happened in the cartoon. But I you said you're okay, that. Christian, seeing him there as long My as friends. they don't see each other. As long as they don't see each other, because it would make sense, especially from this time period, because what we've set up in the solo part. And it, look, they also say it's right in the middle of Solo, a Star Wars story. We will look at the timeline, but I think what does that mean? Like when we first see Solo, because it's a couple of years after that. I it, I don't know when it lands, but anyway, the point is. Darth Maul's running shop and he's working with Kira and he's doing stuff with Crimson Dawn. So if Crimson Dawn gets involved one way, but you never see them connect, that that would make sense. That sounds like an XFL team. Yeah, the Las Vegas Crimson Dawn. (laughs)